Greetings from National Association of Palliative Care for Ayush and Integrative Medicine. I am K. Radhagrishnan Manon, Vice President, Content Development Training and Conferences. I would like to share with you a new uh, video on integrating science into humanity for palliative care. This presentation is prepared by Dr. Gida Joshi. She is a professor and head department of pain and palliative medicine, Gujarat Cancer and Research Institute, Ahmedabad. She is also the president of the Gujarat state chapter of uh, National Association of Palliative Care for Ayush and Integrative Medicine. Modern medicine first set out to cure diseases with drugs, surgery and other treatments. Then we realized that prevention is even better than cure and set about putting in place public health measures, vaccination programs and health education. Presently, most of our health services are designed for diagnosis and treatment and a smaller component is also set aside for prevention of diseases. However, the huge need that is not being met is the ongoing care for those who have no prospect of getting cured. Palliative care is holistic care of such patients. It aims at relief of suffering and improving quality of life. The word palliative is derived from Latin word pallia, which means to cause something to appear less serious or offensive. It means relieve symptoms of a disease without curing it. It addresses needs of patients and family. History of palliative care. Palliative care is not new concept in India. Care of dying has been a constant feature of human society throughout the history. The 18 institutions built in India by King Ashoka during 273-232 BC had characteristics very similar to modern hospices. Dame Cicely Mary Saunders initiated hospice movement early in 1940s in the United Kingdom and built St. Christopher's Hospice in 1967 in London. She is remembered for her role in helping dying and terminally ill patients end their lives in the most comfortable ways possible. Definition of palliative care. WHO introduced cancer control program in 1980. Palliative care is one of the important parts of cancer control program. WHO definition of palliative care is as follows. Palliative care is an approach that improves the quality of life of patients and their families facing the problems associated with life-threatening illnesses through the prevention and relief of suffering by means of early identification and impeccable assessment and treatment of pain and other problems, physical, psychosocial and spiritual. European Association of Palliative Care has defined palliative care as the active total care of the patients whose disease is not responsive to curative treatment, control of pain, of other symptoms and of social, psychological and spiritual problems is paramount. Indian Association of Palliative Care formed in 1994 in Gujarat Cancer and Research Institute Ahmedabad has defined palliative care with Indian perspective. Palliative care is the active total care applicable from the time of diagnosis aimed at improving the quality of life of patients and their families facing serious life limiting illnesses through the prevention and relief of suffering from pain and other physical symptoms as well as psychological, social and spiritual distress through socially acceptable and affordable interventions. What is different about palliative care? Doctors, nurses and other healthcare professionals tend to focus on physical problems, diseases and treatments. But palliative care recognizes that people are much more than just bodies. Our minds, our spirits and our emotions are part of who we are as are the families 
and communities to which we belong. So the problems facing a sick person and their family are not just physical, there may be psychological, social and spiritual issues which are just as important as the illness itself. Sometimes problems in one area may worsen others, for example, pain is often worse when people are anxious or depressed. It is only when we address all these areas that we are helping the whole person. This is called holistic care. Palliative care is given by socially acceptable means and affordable interventions. It promotes life by relief of sufferings. It does not hasten death, but relieves in dying with dignity, but believes in dying with dignity. Needs for palliative care. There is change in disease demographics in the last two decades. Non-communicable diseases are on rise, cardiovascular disease, stroke, cancer, organ system failure are leading cause of death. In India, life expectancy has increased from 62.3 years males and 63.9 years females in 2001-2005 to 67.3 years males and 69.6 years females in 2011-2015. This can be a cause of disability in the last two to four years of life of an individual. There are 2.5 million cancer patients in India and almost 60 percent are in stage 4 of the disease at the time of diagnosis requiring only palliative care, but only 0.4 percent have access to palliative care. This unmet need is mapped for the first time in the global atlas of palliative care at the end of life published jointly by the WHO and the Worldwide Palliative Care Alliance in January 2004 in Geneva, London. It states that only 1 in 10 people who need palliative care, that is medical care to relieve the pain symptoms and distress of serious illness is currently receiving it. Who needs palliative care? The majority of patients in India receiving palliative care services have cancer. There is increasing recognition, however, of the unmet need in patients with other progressive, incurable, non malignant diseases. Some conditions requiring palliative care are as follows cancer, HIV, AIDS, dementia, progressive neurological disorders, Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, motor neuron disease, stroke, end stage organ diseases like lung, heart, kidney and liver, old age, old people dying as a consequence of the aging process, degenerative conditions related to aging. It is recommendation of Human Rights Watch to integrate meaningful palliative care strategies into national cancer and HIV AIDS control programs. When to start palliative care? Palliative care does not replace other forms of care. It can be integrated into existing comprehensive care of different disease programs, prevention and management and should be seen as a part of a continuum of care given to everyone with a life limiting illness. The traditional model of palliative care has been dichotomous with curative or disease modifying treatment offered initially and comfort care provided only when if these measures are no longer appropriate. However, many illness situations do not lend fit well to such dichotomous service models. For example, heart failure is characterized by stable disease with acute exacerbations often requiring hospitalization. During these exacerbations, life prolonging treatments that also improve symptom burden are administered within an integrated model of medical care. Palliative care is provided at the same time as curative or life prolonging treatments. It is continuum of care for patients and family extended as bereavement support in case patient dies. This requirement of palliative care is especially enhanced during critical transition phases in the disease trajectory as for example, in cancer the need for palliative care is enhanced at a diagnosis, at recurrence 
when cancer becomes unresponsive to disease modifying therapies. Terminal phase, palliative care needs of cancer survivors, where palliative care is given, any health setup desiring to have palliative care services can have such setup. It can be an outpatient department, inpatient services for treatment of acute symptoms, hospice care, when patient is in advanced or terminal stage of the disease and daycare units supported by NGOs. Community supported home based palliative care service. It is based on the concept of caring the patients at home. Palliative care is particularly important in meeting the needs of patients to be at home amongst their family and friends during a time in life when they are most vulnerable especially in the terminal stages. How palliative care is given? Successful palliative care requires attention to all aspects of a patient's suffering. This requires input or assistance from a range of medical, nursing and allied health personnel, a multidisciplinary approach. No one professional can deal with the many problems encountered in palliative care. Patient and caregivers are important members of this team. The ideal core multidisciplinary clinical team consists of physicians, nurses for both inpatient care and community care, social worker, physiotherapist, clinical psychologist or visiting liaison psychiatrist, clinical pharmacist, music and or art therapist, Ayush specialist, volunteers. Multiple studies have shown that palliative care services improve patient symptoms, allows patients to avoid hospitalization and to remain safely and adequately cared for at home, lead to better patient and family satisfaction and significantly reduce prolonged grief and post traumatic stress disorder among bereaved family members. Palliative care also lowers costs and reduces rates of unnecessary hospitalizations, diagnostic and treatment interventions and non-beneficial intensive and emergency department care particularly when patients are near death. Palliative medicine has been recognized as specialty. Qualified postgraduates in the subject have started rolling out of our institutions in India. We have some references which are already available in our resource file. Thank you.